Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items. But this time it's going to be in 1.14.4. Last time we did a video on this is actually 1.13.2. So we have came a long way since this last video. It's time for an update. And today we're going to be going through every single step of getting just enough items set up in Minecraft 1.14.4. First of all, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you, your friends, running mods, running forge, running spigot, running just normal vanilla Minecraft, you can do it with Apex Minecraft hosting. If it involves a Minecraft server, you can do it on Apex. So go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get just enough items installed here. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our tutorial on installing just enough items, so if I go too fast in this video, you can come through here and go through this tutorial. But once you're here, you just want to click on this yellow download button here. This is download just enough items. Click on that yellow download button, and it takes us off to the just enough items download page. And on the right hand side over here, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see Minecraft 1.14.4. So let's go ahead and click on that purple download button on 1.14.4, and it will take us off to where it's gonna start the download in five seconds, and it will automatically do so on the bottom left. We can see JEI 1.14.3 in this case, it's gonna work on 1.14.4 though, and then .jar at the end. As long as it says JEI at the beginning and ends in .jar, we can go ahead and keep the file. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's opened up in the center of the screen asking you to save the file. Go ahead and save the file again as long as it starts with JEI and ends in .jar. JEI, by the way, stands for just enough items. It's an abbreviation. But nevertheless, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is required to run just enough items, but pretty much also every other Minecraft mod out there. So let's go ahead and click on the third link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our, again, tutorial on installing Forge. It goes through every single step. So if I go too fast, you can go there here and go through this tutorial. But for now, we're going to go ahead and click on this green download forge button takes us off to forge's official website where we want to make sure we've got the 114.4 version of forge selected to do that go ahead on the left hand side over here click on 114.4 and then click on 1.14.4 as you can see there so now it should say mc standing for minecraft 1.14.4 there if it does we can go ahead and click on the installer button under download latest it'll then go ahead and download forge in the bottom left again we need to keep this file as long as it starts with forge and ends in dot jar it's 100 percent safe to click keep now on mozilla firefox pop it in the center screen click save in the center screen again if it starts with forge and ends with dot jar now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop I have two things I have just enough items and I have forge now if these aren't on your desktop no worries they're in your downloads folder so go ahead and click on the top left for me bottom left for you that little windows icon in the bottom left of your screen click on that and type in downloads here you'll have your downloads folder once you click on that you'll find forge and just enough items handy in your downloads folder to drag to your desktop. Once you're on your desktop, we can get started. So first we're gonna start with Forge. Right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SC Binary. And then go ahead and open up the Forge Mod Installer here, where we wanna go ahead and click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then install Forge, but you might not have been able to open up Forge at all, right? And what if you couldn't open up Forge at all, you were having issues and you know maybe you successfully installed Forge Client Profile here, that's awesome, that means it worked, but what if you couldn't even open the file? What if the file was a just page of books or something? What, what if this wasn't here, you didn't have Java TM Platform SC Binary? What do you do? Well, we have a solution for you and that is in the description down below. You need to download Java. And as you can see, how to download Java for Minecraft mods. It goes over exactly how to get Java for Minecraft mods set up and running. Now, if you do that and it's still doesn't work, you need to repair your jar file. So as you can see, repair .jar files on your PC to make them work with Java. This goes through the entire process of doing that. It has helped over 130,000 people repair their jar files to get them working with Java again. Now at this point, you should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then again, just click on Install Client, and then click OK. Once you've done that, Forge is successfully installed. If you did have issues successfully installing Forge, and it said you need to go play Minecraft 1.14.4, well then you need to go play Minecraft 1.14.4, and then you'll be good to go. Now at this point, all we want to do is click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon. Except this time we're going to type in Run, R-U-N. So this is the Run desktop app here. Once you click on that, you'll have this little application open up where we just want to type percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign exactly like that and then click 
Okay, now it's going to open up our roaming folder here where we have a .minecraft folder. Click on that .minecraft folder and in here it should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, I, now I don't have one either. All we're going to do is right click, create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then open up your newly created mods folder, or if you already had one, go ahead and open it up. Then take just enough items and drag it into your mods folder, right like so. Boom, just enough items, J-E-I, right in your mods folder, and we're good. Now all we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so, and then we should, we wanna click this little arrow next to the Minecraft launcher. See that, that little arrow next to the play button in the Minecraft launcher? Here you should have a Forge profile. I do, but what if you don't? Well, if you don't have a Forge profile, no problem. Just click the Installations button up here in the top of the Minecraft launcher. Click on this plus new right here. See, plus new, dot, dot, dot. Click on that, and it'll also open up a Create New Installation window. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the IP address of our Minecraft server with Grief Protected Survival. It has both a slash shop economy, and we have a Grief Protected Survival server with a player-based economy. It has over 20 quests on our player-based economy server, and on top of that, we have custom Skyblock with over 100 players on our Skyblock server every day and over 350 players on our entire network every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for version here, we can go ahead and click that and then from this version drop down box, we'll be able to see release 1.14.4-Forge. And right here it is. As you can see, we have one. We actually have two. If you have two, click the one with the highest number at the end. In my case, 19, it's higher than 14. So that's the one we're going with. Now we can go ahead and click that. I'm going to set our resolution to 1080p just for, you know, when we get in game, you guys will be able to see. And then we can go ahead and click create. Now at this point, find the profile we created, play.breakdowncraft.com, and click the green play button on it. Now we'll go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with just enough items installed. It really is that simple. It really is that easy to get Minecraft open with just enough items. And uh, overall, this is just a great mod. Just enough items is a must have, in my opinion, for modded Minecraft. And really and truly vanilla, it can help a ton as well. But if you have other mods running with just enough items, that is is where things really work out. Now if we go ahead and click on the mods tabs and we will be able to see just enough items is installed, but we can go ahead and launch up just a new single player world. Um, I'm actually going to jump into this one. It might give me an error, but I don't think it will. I don't think I've installed any mods on this world just yet, but once we're in game here, we'll be able to see that we can hit E to open up our inventory, and there is just enough items all set up and working. As you can see here in the bottom right, we do have the search bar. We can search for like orange, for example, it shows us all the orange blocks. We can search for dirt. It shows us the two dirt blocks there. We can search for stone, such as anything that has stone in the name. We can then click on, let's say, um, in stone bricks, and it'll show us how to make in stone bricks. We want to make this, we can make that. All of that stuff. You can also see the anvil crafting and all the enchantments and all that stuff that you can get with the sword. It is incredible and it is now installed in your version of Minecraft. Again, I hope to see you online over on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have grief protected survival as well as custom skyblocks. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And I'm out. Peace.